it's Janet from the Ed and Janet show and Ed is behind the camera as usual. Wave Ed. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, we're here in uh, Ruth and Frank's garden. It's a relatively new garden. They've only been here for two years and we thought it would be interesting to talk about uh, setting up a garden and uh, how much you, you can accomplish in a short period of time. And um, Frank has set up a, uh, with I think Bill's influence, um, raised bed veggie garden on a slope, which is pretty neat to see uh, what you can do with a with a slope and a, a small space. So Ruth, it's lovely. Thank you so much for having us here. Please tell us a little bit about what you've done uh, since you got here. Everything. Two Everything. Years ago, we moved here from a huge property, no neighbors, and found this house, lovely neighborhood chickens, gardens, chickens, gardens, chickens. <laughs> wow. And it was blank. Yeah. And I don't know the names of flowers. I go shopping in what I call the candy store and I buy flowers that I like and I stick them everywhere. That rock garden had black tar paper in it and almost before we were unpacked, Frank ripped it all out, cut down a couple of ugly shrubs, put soil and compost, which he'll tell you about him. We went to town and kids gave us plants. His brother gave us plants from butchards. And October we went to all the sales. And so you've been having fun experimenting, just mm -hmm. seeing what works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good way. Another good way is to join our garden club. Oh. <laughs> There we go. I've got to plug that in there somewhere. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much for telling us about this. And maybe now uh, Frank can show us the... Uh, are you going to come down too and have a look? I'll watch. You're this. going to watch. When you okay. mentioned a slant, I just thought we should have put... Um, grapes in there and started our own wine. Well, factory. you still can do that. You got that great um, fence there that they'll just grow up against and then that neighbor on the other side will help themselves to the ones that grow over there and it'll all work out, right? <laughs> so Frank, um, yes. you've got this slope here and it's quite a small space and uh, I understand uh, our good buddy Bill Morgan inspired you to put in some, some raised beds here. Tell us about them. That's right. Well, it all started with a friend, a friend of ours, I was going to say old friend, but a long time friend, I should say, I guess. And uh, he buys tomato plants off Bill. Oh, yes. And he says, you've got to go around and meet this man. So I did. And I just, I, I, I don't know, there was a relationship right away. Bill is Bill. It's, it's yeah. easy to understand how that could happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and anyway, uh, he came up and he says, how about if I come up to your house? and have a look and make some suggestions. I said, I'd love it. So he yeah. did. Yeah. And this is the result. He yeah. said, you got to put raised beds in, three feet wide, so you can get it either side, uh, as long as you can make them. Yeah. And uh, I played around with it. He took me down, introduced me to a one-man sawmill here in Keating's area. Right. I got ordered the wood, the planks. And uh, there it went from there. Great. So how, what success have you had so far? Show us what you've been growing in here. Well, i got tomatoes coming up now. Uh, yeah, they look like they're doing well. Yeah. I bought an apple tree that's got four different varieties of apples, or five, actually. That's and intriguing. the young man I bought it off of said that I would at least end up with three. Yeah. And he says, usually four. Ah, very good. Yeah. And this is a dwarf? And it's a, a dwarf, dwarf apple. Yeah, there's no point in buying any other kind of apple tree anymore, is there really? No. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. And peas have just gone crazy. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to get a taller piece of uh, stuff for them to grow up, that's yeah, for sure. I just, I just went down to yeah. and picked some up. And I've got a bunch of things. I'm not sure what they are. Some kind of squash. Squash. Maybe Zucchini. pumpkins. Yeah. And I think they're from our compost. Ah, uh, yes. I like volunteers. Yeah. They belong. I, I have a few volunteer squash plants myself. They're doing very well. And uh, it looks like you got some blueberries yes. and um, some broccoli. Pole, yeah, broccoli. Broccoli and pole <clears throat> beans yes, over there. Of course. Yeah. And um, 
I've got a few sunflowers growing at the far end. I bought oh, a yes. package of sunflower seeds, and there were six seeds in the package. Wow, that's not a lot, but it no. looks like they all came up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. And some pole beans from Bill. Yeah. And then here, Bill said I had to have Marion berries. Yes. So that's a Marion berry. Right. And I see you still Raspberry. have some room here, so uh, you'll have to watch our upcoming episode where um, we talk about succession planting, what to plant in the winter. That so, I don't know, yes. Yeah, that, there's a know. lot that you can grow in the winter, so yeah. keep watching and listen to Bill. He does a lot of that, too. Oh, so. does he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got to utilize your garden in the winter, and a lot of people don't do that. I know I didn't do it for years and years and then uh, got inspired and started doing it. It's huh. well worth it. Yeah. Well, your garden is perfect, and... Um, uh, I, I love what you've done here, and I understand you've started a compost as well. Can you maybe show how you've done your compost box? Absolutely. Okay. All right. There was a small bin here, which was not near big enough. So I thought, well, I needed a larger one, and I wanted it two sections. So yeah. I had good compost now or in the near future and compost coming. Anyway, right. I scrounged pellets and the whole yeah. thing is made of pellets. Love that. Um, this one here, I took the or the outside ones, I took the inner slats off. Yeah. Give me a little bit more space in here. And also it gave me pieces ah. like this that I can raise up, lower, right. come out and um, yeah. So you took all the slats from one side on the inside and, yep. and put them on the outside and, and put some them on of the outside. them you the did. ones I could not get off in one piece I made. Them. Right. I like how you've made this. I wouldn't even know what you call that. No, I a slot for them to go in. I know uh, Bill used um, tracking from uh, old Venetian blinds to do oh, his, really? but I like how you've how you've done yours with wood too. That's another good idea mm. because my compost bin uh, is gonna be redesigned now that Al, my husband Al, has seen Bill's beautiful deluxe compost bins. Ours have braces that go across here uh -huh. and it makes it really hard to get in and yes. dig. So uh, yeah, we'll be redoing our compost bins mm -hmm. as well. So this is a, a good design and it looks like you got some really good soil happening in there. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a mixture of the stuff that was here and the stuff I started when we moved in. Yeah. And some of the soil I dug up putting the beds in and some of the soil I purchased. Yeah. From Mitchell's. And Good work. Yeah. And so what are your plans for your future garden now that you've got it in? Oh, now I'm getting into it. And this Bill is... <laughs> yeah. He is a man that just... He's a, he's a garden promoter. He is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's looking, I'm looking at his greenhouse, and he's got a greenhouse attached ah, yes. to his garden yeah. building. And I thought, I need that. Oh, yep. I'll come around and have a look. Mm -hmm. So he came around, he says, Frank, he says, you've got a south-facing wall on your garden yeah. set. He said, just extend it. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to That's what you're going to do. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah, then you can start your own plants and, and uh, be yeah. ahead of Bill. Well, I don't start think them I'll in November. I won't live long <laughs> enough to get ahead of Bill. Well, anyway, your garden is really great, oh, and yeah, we love uh, it. and um, it, it it really shows what you can do in a short period of time yeah. with a small space because it is it a relatively is a small, small yard. And and I mean, you could put lots more garden beds in here. I'm sure Bill will try and get you to put more garden beds in here. But <laughs> he was trying to get me to put one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right where it's standing. Yeah, and. Uh, a couple in there. I said, well, that'll come. Wait, it'll get the greenhouse. you got to make room for that greenhouse to yeah. make sure you can walk around it and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, so that's what's next, hey? Well, we wish you luck with that, and thank you so much, uh, Frank and, and Ruth, for showing thank us you. your garden. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very, very much.